Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's episode of Iowa State Cyclone Football. Before we start this episode, can we have a moment of silence for the great Jack Trice who died sadly a hundred years ago today. Thank you. And now we're going to get into this documentary by Cyclones TV. When you look back now and when you consider that Iowa State has the only football bowl subdivision stadium named for an African American, the story is extremely touching. His grandfather was a slave, a freed slave. So he was just twice removed, generationally speaking, from, from slavery. I think the, the legacy um, of Jack Trice uh, is actually several fold. Uh, number one, uh, he was an outstanding student. Uh, he was a guy who uh, achieved at about 90% uh, grade level, which is right up there close to the A level, over the A level. He uh, was a good person that, that people uh, liked being around. His teammates liked being around him. And so he really was a great representative of Iowa State University. So uh, they traveled. They had no problem traveling up by train. But uh, and Jack actually stayed in the same hotel with the rest of the team. But they wouldn't let him eat in the dining room. And his players, uh, his teammates, took that very, very hard. They were very upset, and by the accounts that I've read, Jack said, that's okay, I'll eat in my room. And he ate in his room that night, and he wrote a very solemn letter to himself. To whom it may concern, my thoughts just before the first real college game of my life, the honor of my race, family, and self is at stake. Everyone is expecting me to do big things. I will. My whole body and soul are to be thrown recklessly about the field tomorrow. Every time the ball is snapped, I will be trying to do more than my part. On all defensive plays, I must break through the opponent's line and stop the play in their territory. Beware of mass interference. Fight low with your eyes open and toward the play. Roll back the interference. Watch out for cross butts and reverse end runs. Be on your toes every minute if you expect to make good. Jack. In the first period of play, in the first couple minutes, apparently Jack broke his collarbone. It was such a serious injury that he came to the sideline. The doctor, the team physician, checked him out. At the time, didn't know it was a broken collarbone, but Jack kept saying, I'm okay to go back in, so the coach sent him back in. And he still played very, very good football through the rest of the first half. In the second half, early in the third period, it's what's called a roll-back block. The Minnesota team had the ball. Jack was running around the line trying to get at the ball carrier. He threw a rolling block, which apparently knocked down two Minnesota Gophers. They all got back up, and before Jack could get back to his feet, they ran right over him to get downfield where the play was. And apparently they, they stepped very heavily on his abdominal area and his chest because uh, he barely could get up. He was staggering, his teammates said. They saw he was very seriously hurt. He went to the sidelines. He was checked again by the physician. The physician uh, suggested to the coach that they leave the game, those two, the physician and Jack Trice, and go to a hospital and have him checked out. There was a hospital nearby. And they did. Jack was in great pain. Uh, apparently, somebody suggested maybe he should stay overnight, but he wanted to go back with the team. Overnight, his uh, condition worsened. Uh, he had trouble breathing regularly, uh, and so they called Dr. Oliver Fay, who at the time, that was about the best surgeon you could get in the state of Iowa. He was a very respected uh, doctor. The physician late that afternoon said, it's a very serious condition. I'm just not sure what I can do. We can't operate at this point because we think that could be fatal. He obviously had internal injuries, which at that time could not be diagnosed. And uh, as the day wore on, he developed uh, pneumonia. 
His uh, young bride, Cora May, of course, came and sat by his side throughout the night. And she said that Jack opened his eyes and smiled, but didn't really communicate with her. And the next morning, Jack Trice died. They uh, planned to have a funeral service at the Campanile. And you have to remember Iowa State, uh, you know, it's, it wasn't the 28,000 student university it is today, you know. You had a, you had a school of about 3,000 uh, people. Classes were suspended that afternoon, and the next day they had a ceremony honoring Jack Trice uh, prior to the burial uh, on the campus by the Campanile, and 4,000 people showed up. That's almost the entire student body that point. The fact that students would care enough to start a movement to see that this young man with this magnificent story is not forgotten and that Iowa State University would come together and help to further his legacy that they would name their football stadium after a man who only played two games. It just says a lot about the school and the type of people that we have in the state of Iowa. There is a statue outside the stadium, has uh, Jack standing with uh, one knee up and in his hands is the letter uh, that he actually wrote and they dedicated that in 1997, uh, before the first game of the 1997 season. Now also, detailing his life is an actual uh, sculpture that is up on uh, the East Concourse for people to see right outside of what is now the Jack Trice Club, uh, where fans gather uh, before and, and during the game. Iowa State has the only uh, football bowl subdivision stadium named for an African American. I think the story and the legacy of Jack Trice is magnificent, frankly. It cuts beyond uh, racial boundaries. It tells you that we're we're all together in this thing we call life. We come, we journey through it, and we leave. And uh, it doesn't have anything to do with race. It doesn't have anything to do with gender. It doesn't have anything to do with ethnicity or religion. It has to do with the bonding together of the human species. I wanted to show that to you guys today in honor of Jack Trice. Of course, I was honestly, I was at the Jack Trice Legacy game last night. Or Iowa State did defeat TCU 27-14. And today we're going to do our own Jack Trice Legacy game here on NCAA 14. As today, as you can see on the screen, the number two Cincinnati Bearcats are in Jack Trice Stadium to take on your Iowa State Cyclones. So we're going to be doing this game for Jack. Of course, for in the, the video game, we don't have the options of throwback uniforms. So we're going to be wearing all Carnold in this game for Iowa State. And Cincinnati is wearing all white for their school. So there's your team stats. Cincinnati comes in today's contest at 9-0 overall. And 6-0 in the Big 12 Conference play. Iowa State comes in with a record of 5-3 overall and 4-1 and in conference play. So ladies and gentlemen, let's kick off from the Jack. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. If you are of the defensive persuasion, this game is right in your wheelhouse. Linebackers and safeties want to come downhill, get involved in the running game, and stick their faces in the fan. I'm glad I'm safe behind this video. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football Pre-Game Show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you in the half.
Jack Trice Stadium in Ames for today's game. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke Zero. The stands are packed Zero here memory. at the Enjoy Jack. Everything. Cincinnati is the road team. All right, they choose heads for the coin, and they win the coin toss. And they elect to kick off. So we will receive the football here to start off today's game. John Stevens is up for the return, and we are underway from the jack. John Stevens' kick is just going to take the knee. First down to 10, I will say, at the 25. Looks like it's a cold night here at the jack, so... Fans are all bundled up, and so are the players. The quarterback brings his troops out First down and 10, Iowa State. And off to Phil Lucas. Phil Lucas gets a gain of five on the play. Second down and five. Second down and five coming up. It's second and five here. Ball on the 30. Screen happening. What's happening here? He's getting these guys ready. Jones back to pass. Fires it. Open wide receiver. That is deflected away. Thomas Ridgeway deflecting the pass. Third down at five. Coming up for Iowa State. From their own 30 yard line. It's third down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Jones back to pass. Finds the open receiver, Donnie Fisher, but he does not get the first down. Three yard reception, fourth down and three. Iowa State will have to punt this football away to the Bearcats. Atkins awaits the snap. Atkins with the punt is away, almost blocked. Oh, excellent punt. Bearcats signaled by Cincinnati. The Bearcats offense basically trying to get him out of this kid. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. First down, 10 Cincinnati at the 20. Over the weeks. But the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody. First down and 10. Well, back to pass is Malone. Malone's pass really is incomplete. Really Second down, coming up. Second down, coming up for Cincinnati. Malone shuffles it. And that's going nowhere. Josh Brown gets no gate on the play. Third, down and 10. It's third down, everyone. Third down and 10. Cincinnati, Malone back to pass. That pass is deflected. And complete fourth down. Cincinnati has to punt the football away. Mike Dunbar is up for the return. Hill to punt. Punt is away. Mike Dunbar there for the return. He's returning it. He gets the corner. He gets the blocks. Excellent. Good job. Oh, there's a flag on the field. There is a flag. That is going to be coming back. And they grab that out at the one yard line. Not sure what the flag is about. There's no foul. Flipping on Iowa State. So that's going to drop us back. First down and 10 now at our 35. So instead of being at the one, we're going to be at the 35. Way to make up those yards right here. Oh, side does not like that whatsoever. All right. First down and 10 at the 35. Oh, gosh. We're all the way back up. Oh my goodness, so that clipping call happened all the way back here. Hand off to Phil Lucas. Phil Lucas goes up the middle, gave a six on the play. Second down and four. Second down and four coming up for the Iowa State Cyclones. They come out on an empty backfield. Travis Jones. Back to pass. 
fires it, and it's caught by Michael Ryan, which is good enough for a cycle first down after that five-yard reception. Throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down to keep the offense on the field. We've got a first and ten, ball on the 46-yard line. First down and ten for your Iowa State Cyclones. Pitch out to Phil Lucas. Phil Lucas lateral, nice Good. stiff arm there. He gets six yards on the game. Second down and four coming up for the Cyclones. Second down and four coming up for Iowa State. Off, back to Phil Lucas. Phil Lucas gets the Cyclone first down. Nice six yard gain. Of course, Phil Lucas is our main halfback now after Kennard Mobley is basically out for the season with a abdominal tear. Hand off back to Phil Lucas. Phil Lucas. Nice run, Phil Lucas, nine-yard gain. He almost broke it free, but second down and one coming up for the Cyclones. Second down and one. Hand off, back to Phil Lucas. Phil Lucas, a whole lot of green grass ahead of him. That's a nine-yard gain. Oh, good old Cy, he loves this. First down and ten, nicely. Cyclones. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25. First down and ten, Iowa State. Ray Perkins is now in the backfield. Bill Lucas is on the sideline getting a breather. Ray Perkins with the carry. Ray Perkins with the carry, indeed. Another nine yard gain by Iowa State. They are just tearing up the Cincinnati defense on the ground. And this play is number eight on the drive. Phil Lucas is back out on the field. Phil Lucas gets the handoff. Oh gosh. They are just killing Cincinnati on the ground. That was another 11 yard gain. First and goal now for Iowa State in the case. IH red zone. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Ray Perkins gets the handoff. Oh, Cincinnati defense was there that time. Lost it two on the play. Second down and goal. Charles Green gets in there on the tackle for loss. Get into the backfield of the offense and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this Second down and goal for the Cyclones. It's second and goal. Ball on the seven-yard line. Second down and goal. Ball is at the seven. Jones shuffles it. Phil Lucas. Gosh, he gets one yard gain. It's now third down and goal at the six. Cincinnati brought the blitz on that play big time. It's the third down and goal. Third down and goal. Back to passes Jones. He can't find anyone. He tried to throw up, but that gets deflected away. Fourth down. Jones could not find anyone there. And Graham set for the field goal. Iowa State could take the lead with this field goal. Kick is up and good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding the Who 
booms it down the field. Mackey set for the return. He's to the 20. Makes it out to maybe the 19 yard line. Nice 18-yard return. First down and 10 coming up for Cincinnati at the 19-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game for Pass is caught. Loses a yard, though. Second down and 11. Cincinnati going no huddle. Quarterback keeper. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Fumble! Oh, it goes out of bounds. Flag on the field, though. Personal sure foul. Flippy. On Cincinnati. Okay, so... Cincinnati keeps the ball. Second down to 14, though, coming up. That's going to do it for the first That quarter. is the first. We've got a good one so far. 3 nothing. Cyclone. Second down and 14 coming up for Cincinnati. He's tackled. No yard, no gain on the play. Third down and 14 now. Joseph Dingle got in there on that tackle. Third down and 14. is caught, but he's going nowhere. One yard gain is fourth down and 13. When it's nighttime at the Jack, all oh, the energy is totally different. Cincinnati set for the punt. Dunbar is set for the return. Dunbar with the return coming up. Dunbar is returning it. He's past midfield. First down and 10, Ohio State on Cincinnati territory at the 47. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes. Iowa State is up a field goal. Hand off, Phil Lucas. Phil Lucas, what the run of the night. Phil Lucas is going to be free, ladies and gentlemen. He's in for six points. Cincinnati. Jeremy Brown with a 28-yard return. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And off. No pass. Makes it and, Makes it and a run. And quarterback keeps it, and that He's is enough for a Cincinnati first down. No huddle. First down and 10, Cincinnati. After that quarterback keeper of 11 yards. They're on a counter. Counter run going, going nowhere. Gain of one though on the play. Second down and nine. Gain of 
five on the play. Third down and four. Third down and four for Cincinnati. Back to pass is Malone. Malone fires it. That is caught. Noah incomplete. Incomplete. Fourth down and four. And Cincinnati has to punt this football away. Mike Dunbar is for the return. Punt is away by Hill. Dunbar is there for the return. Nice blocking. Good blocking, guys. Nice blocks. 23 yard return by Dunbar. First down to 10, Iowa State. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And off, Phil Lucas. He makes it out to the One yard on the game. Yard line. Second down and nine. From their own 43 yard line. Second down. Second down to nine, Iowa State. Hand off. Back to Phil Lucas. Phil Lucas. Get it. Nice six up. yards on the game. Third down and three. Six yards on the play. Three Iowa State. Jones back to pass. Oh, he gets hit as he was trying to throw it. Fourth down and three. So that pass was incomplete. Atkins set to punt the football away. Atkins is the putter. Punts away. He really got oh gosh, that's him. going into the end zone. That's a touchback. Down the First down of 10. Cincinnati coming out to the 25. To the 20. My bad. On the kickoffs is 25. Punts is 20. First down and 10. Cincinnati. is completed to Jeremy Brown, a 13-yard reception. Another first down and 10 by Cincinnati. First down and 10, Bearcats. Pass. It's going nowhere. He just threw it away, second down and 10. Coming up for Cincinnati. Second down, 10 yards to go, all on the 33. First down, second down and 10 for the Bearcats. Malone, back to pass. Malone's keeping it, and he's getting nowhere. He has stopped, set for a yard. Third down and 11 coming up for the Bearcats. Third down and 11. Back to pass Malone. Malone fires it. Incomplete. Fourth down. I think Malone is a little anxious in the pocket. I think the pressure that Iowa State defenders are giving him is too much for him, and he wants to get rid of the ball really quickly instead of just sitting in the pocket, find the open man, and it's sent. Mike Dunbar set for the return. Hill punt is away. Bearcats signal by Dunbar. Also the Bearcats. First down to 10, Iowa State. At their own 30-yard line. Two minutes and 14 seconds are remaining here in this first half. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive. Cincinnati gets the, the football away. to start the second half. Handoff, Phil Lucas. Phil they Lucas gets right no gain on the play. Go second down and... and Nowhere to go. That makes it second and 
second down and 10 for Iowa State. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Second down and 10 for Iowa State. Looks like Jones is going to pass. Pass play coming. Fires it. Caught by Bill Lucas. And Bill Lucas gets a 20-yard reception. And that is good enough for a cyclone. First down. First down and 10, Iowa State at the 50. From midfield, first down. Hand off to Phil Lucas. Phil Lucas run hey, is good enough for five yards. Second down and five at the 45. 46. They're saying 46. Okay. So technically, that would be second down and six, but they're piping it out of the 46, close to the 45. Hand off to Ray Perkins this time. Ray Perkins gets basically two yards on the play. Third down and three coming up. Down and three, Iowa State. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Jones back to pass. Pumps it. Pumps fires it. Incomplete. He was looking for John Stevens as the intended wide receiver. It's fourth and three. Coach is saying go for it. On fourth down and three here. Might as well. 26 seconds left to go here in the first half. Caught by John Stevens. That is good enough for a Cyclone. First down, 14 yards on the catch. First and ten. Travis Jones, 4 of 8 of 42 yards passing so far in this ball game. Back to pass is Jones. Jones fires it. That is incomplete. Eight seconds remain in the first half. Will Little gets the deflection of play. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Eight seconds remain. Play of the series. Pass is caught by John Stevens. Timeout, Iowa State. Two seconds remain here in the first half. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. Graham set for the field goal here. Kick is up. It's good. That one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upper. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple we of have inches to half time. So at the end of the half, Iowa State in front, 13-0. Welcome back for the second half where Graham is going to kick off to, to the, the Bearcats. Mackey from the three. And he 
he makes it out to about the 27 yard line. The Cyclones continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football trip. Yeah, they've done a good job. First of all, Cincinnati now at their own. See if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. 27. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Off is going no way. Also, three on the play by Josh Brown. Josh Wood is in there on that tackle for loss. Second down and 13. Coming up now for the Bearcats. Second and 13. Ball on the 24 yard line. Second down at 13. is completed. Oh, running back gets it. And he's tackled after a 13-yard gain. Josh Brown, that is now third down and inches for Cincinnati. That was a good halfback screen there. Quarterback keeps it, and that is good enough for a first down. First down and 10 for the Bearcats. It's going nowhere. Gain of one though on the play. Second down and nine. Josh Brown has only has nine yards on the game so far. Third down and four, Cincinnati. His third down, Cyclone Nation. Malone. The game pressured and he sacked. Kareem Malone sacked for 10 yards. Joseph Dingo is here on the sack. Across from him, double teams, triple teams, chip blocks, help from the backfield. You name it, nothing's been able to slow this guy down. Back to punt is Hill. Hill to punt. Dingle set for the return. Punt is away. Oh, excellent. I mean, punt. Dunbar was set for the return, not Dingle. My apologies, Dunbar. Dunbar. Field with the 19. Tackle at the 29. <laughs> They're set to go for another round. First down and 10, Iowa State. Handoff, Phil Lucas. And he's taken down. Second down and 10, no gain on the play. Second down and 10, now for the Cyclones. So it's second and 10, ball at 29. First down and 10 at the 29 yard line. Off goes to Jones. Travis Jones gets 13 yards on the quarterback read option. Good enough for another Cyclone first down. First down and 10. And off. Phil Lucas. Bill Lucas gets tackled after a one-yard gain. Second down and nine. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Second down and nine. Jones, back to pass. Incomplete. He was trying to find the open receiver, but Cincinnati brought the pressure and couldn't find the open person. Third down and nine coming up for Iowa State. Iowa State on third down conversion today is sadly a 0-4-4. Jones back to pass. Fires. 
Incomplete. That's another deflection. Iowa State is now 0 of 5 on fourth downs. And Iowa State has to punt this football away. This game has been defensive. Honestly, a defensive battle. Yes, Iowa State has got a touchdown and two field goals. But other than that, it's been all defense. Punt is away. This one is a beauty. Henderson getting down to the field. And he tackles them. Beautiful special teams by Henderson. Four-yard return. Only allowed by the Iowa State special teams. First down and 10, Cincinnati at the 15. 2.40 left to go here in the first. Third quarter, third quarter. Oh, goodness gracious, what a hit. Second down and 10, coming up for Cincinnati. From their own 187 total yards yard to only 38. Um, that is like a murder. Murder case needs to be solved. He makes his Take way it down, to and he gets the first down and 10 after that 10 yard run right up the gut. First down and 10, Bearcats. Iowa State looking to stop them here again. Quarterback he's keeper. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. Quarterback is and hard to get taken down field. and he that gets a 15 nice yard gain right there. That is now a first down and 10 again for Cincinnati. Right there on that play. First down and 10 for Cincinnati. And off. Oh no. Quarterback keeper again. Quarterback. Oh gosh, no, he's gonna be inside the 30. And he's taken down after another yard huge yard by the quarterback. Gosh, their quarterback is just he has speed. Their quarterback does have speed. But he can disguise the plays very well. What's gonna be a run? And what's gonna be, you know, a quarterback keeper run. And Another seven-yard run by Josh Brown. So, Cincinnati is finally in the red zone, ladies and gentlemen. I think they might honestly finally score here. Handoff. And he gets three yards. Yes, not enough for the first, but it's third down in inches now. Cincinnati, oh wait, he's hurt. Brown is hurt. He's on the field, folks. This is not good for Cincinnati. It's third down, and they're about to third down in inches for Cincinnati. Down. And off. He's going backwards. Antonio Ellison. No gain on play. Loss of one. Fourth down and one. And Cincinnati. Is going to go for this. Since that is going for this, passing Malone fires it. That is caught. First down and goal. Doug Wilkerson is there. His pass was completed. He was wide open. First down and goal. Quarterback keeper and Malone's in for the touchdown. That option was so smoothly executed. He was totally in control on that keeper. Cincinnati. To kick it away. Kick is up and good. Iowa State only leads by six points now. Kickoff coming from Cincinnati. John Stevens with the return from the end zone, about two yards some deep into the end zone. 32-yard return by Stevens. Not bad. Not bad at all. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to pull up their last time out. 
One minute and two seconds left to go in the six. third. Hand off, Phil Lucas. He has some room. Phil Lucas, what a gain of 14 on the play. First down and 10. Phil Lucas is just going to be just fine next season as our star running back. It's first down. State has to run one more play before the quarter ends. And off back to Phil Lucas. Phil Lucas gets the Cyclone first down and a whole lot more. Another 14 yard gain by Lucas, and that will probably end. Third. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 38. I would say we'll not take another snap here. That is it for three quarters of play. That's three down and one to go. The Cyclones in front by six. quarters of action tight ball game and now it's the fourth quarter this will decide it and off the Lucas that's a great tackle the two yard gain on the play stick it on an eight Seven yard line. Second down. Iowa State with a six point lead. And off. Back to Phil Lucas. He makes it to the 35 One yard line. One yard on the play. Third down and seven. Or game at two. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Third down and seven, Iowa State. Back to passes, Jones. Jones fires it, caught, Donnie Fisher. Good enough for a cycle on first down. I like to call him here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. From the 19-yard line, first down. First down and 10, Iowa State. Hand off, Phil Lucas. Lucas off the right side. Spin move, move and he gets 70 yards. It is now second down and three for Iowa State. This is the eighth play of this drive. Second down and three for the Cyclones. They are, of course, in the Case IH red zone. And off. Ray Perkins. Ray Perkins gets no gain. Play third down and three. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up and trap it. Third down and three for Iowa State. They need about three yards to get the first down. Here on third down and three. Is up by six. Jones back to pass. Fires it. Caught by Don Cunningham. Woo! Daniel Cunningham gets seven yard reception. First down and goal. Cyclones. First down and goal, Iowa State. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Let's 
see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. Hand off. Phil Lucas. Phil Lucas is taken down after a no game on the play. Second down on goal. Right, we have a score alert. Clemson and Louisville are tied up. Just inside the five. Second down. Second down and goal, Iowa State. Hand off. Phil Lucas. He's going nowhere. Loss of one on the play. Third down and goal. We're at the 12th play of the play. Third drive. down and goal for Iowa State. Jones. Passing. Wide open man. And cutting him. Oh, he steps out of bounds. He did not cut up on the field in time. Fourth down and goal. Oh, might as well go for the field goal. Get the points. Get the touchdown. Would have been nice, but, you know, might as well get the points while we can. Graham said to kick it in. Kick is good. Cincinnati is going for this though. Fourth down and four coming up for the Bearcats. Malone back to pass. Fires it. Caught out of bounds. Turned over on down. But the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day and that will lead to the victory. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. The Lucas gets the handoff. He makes it Time out. Maybe the Bear yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. Two-yard run. Cincinnati's going to take their first Second down and eight. Hat. Second down, eight to Second go. down and eight yards to go three. for the Cyclones. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And off, Phil Lucas. And he carries the ball for a Flag on the field. That's going to be a face mask on the Bearcats. Face mask. Defense. They're giving away First three down yards. At the 14 for the guys on the other side of the ball. Clock did stop there, so Cincinnati did not have to take a timeout. 
And off Phil Lucas. Phil Lucas, touchdown! Head coach, first year out of the program. First down and ten, Bearcats. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Under pressure. Once it all, going deep. He's caught. First down and goal. I like the two-yard line. Tremblay was behind him. First down and goal, Cincinnati. I like the two. Back to pass Malone. Malone fires it, Cincinnati touchdown. example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, Good things tend to happen. He makes the PAT. A six play, 78 yards. Yeah, 24 to 14 is your score. That drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. So our score. 24-14. Iowa State football. Michael Ryan with the ball. And he's just going to drop so that ball. Really struggling trying to score on this offense today. How about this offense? I don't think anybody could have seen them coming into this game executing against one of the best defenses in the country. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback. And literally, Cincinnati, Cincinnati will take, take last a timeout. timeout. Why, Cincinnati? You're not getting the dang ball back. Why take a dumb timeout? The game's over. Iowa State knocks off number two, Cincinnati. 24 
14. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. This is Iowa State's third straight victory. And they are on the road for the next two football games. We only got three games left of the regular season. What a game, ladies and gentlemen. What a football game. And now let's go take a look at our next opponent. Your brand new top 25 poll. Big 12 conference standings as well. As I will say, improves now to six and three on the season. And I will say is going bowling, ladies and gentlemen. We are now bowl eligible after this victory against Cincinnati. I will say it's a victory against Cincinnati makes them bowl eligible. has committed to Missouri. I don't get him out of here. Brad Scott has committed to Iowa State. George Balak has committed to Iowa State. We are ranked, ladies and gentlemen. We are ranked. Yes, Iowa State. We are now ranked in the nation. And our next game is against Arizona at Arizona. Let's go take a look at your top 25 poll. Top 25 poll is as followed. Alabama, Ohio State, Florida, TCU, Notre Dame, South Carolina, Stanford, Georgia, Washington, Cincinnati, Texas A&M, Boise State, Louisville, Oklahoma, Michigan, Michigan State I should say, Oregon, Texas, Florida State, Iowa State, Ole Miss, Arizona, Oregon State, Nebraska, Clemson, and Kansas State. For the first time, this season, we are ranked now in the top 25 poll. Man, does that feel good. And first-year head coach Aaron Weaver as well. He leads the Iowa State Cyclones to, so far, a 6-3 record, being bowl eligible, and now they're ranked in the nation. That is flipping good as heck. So, our Big 12 North Division standings are as follows. Cincinnati at 9-1 and 6-1. and one. Iowa State at six and three and five and one. Kansas State at six and three and three and three. Utah at five. Excuse me. Utah at five and five and three and four. Kansas at four and five and two and four. West Virginia at four and five and two and four. 
Arizona at three and six and two and four, and Colorado at two and seven and one and six. In the Big 12 South, Arizona State at seven and two and five and one. TCU at eight and one and five and one. Texas Tech at seven and two and four and two. UCF at six and three and four and three. Oklahoma State at three and five and two and four. Houston at three and six and two and four. Baylor at five and four and two and four. And BYU at three and six and two and four. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next time on. NCAA Football 14, number 19, Iowa State, takes on the Arizona Wildcats. This is it for Iowa State Cycle of Football, as today, we did this for the great